Okay, um, today we're going to tie a harlequin from Kelson. So what I've done is I've chosen all the materials that I need, so just a bit of material prep. Um, tying salmon flies is quite a long process and it takes me extremely, extremely long to tie it. So I'm going to split the, the videos up into little sections, just little steps as I go along. Um, for example, like your gut in the beginning, then your tip, tag and so forth. And I'll s split those sections up to little watchable five minute videos and then I'll just combine it all at the end and put in one long video so it'll probably be an hour long video but again you can just skip through the, the little sections I'm hoping that this would help somebody um, yeah let's see how it goes I've never tied the Harlequin before it's a beautiful pattern I've seen some really really nice examples out there some renditions so let's see how it goes okay so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie on our Silkworm gut. Well, I don't use silkworm gut. I, I twist my own just using normal gut, uh, fishing gut. Uh, I've got, I usually make two types this one like that, where it doesn't unravel. And I usually only do it when I do like bodies made from fur or something like that, wool or anything. Uh, then I make another one where you can see I have to tie the ends together because these, as soon as you cut those off, they unravel. And I, I like to do it this way, especially when I'm going to do a silk body. So let's attach our gut, our um, thread. I always tie back towards the eye. And then I'm, I leave a gap in the front where I think so if we look at it in the old days they used to have just a little point sticking out so that's basically where I want to want it to end and my wing is going to be tied in over there and then now I'll tie in my my gut if you guys want me to do a, a video showing how to make it let me know and I'm going to do this full body full length of the shank And I'll show you now why I do it this way. Why I've got the two different types of gut. So now obviously we're gonna build in a taper you know, towards the, when we have to wrap the silk. So now let me show you why I do this. So the nice thing about this is, when you cut it, it unravels quite quickly. And I want to build in a, tape, a taper And all you're going to do is you're just going to ravel that up. Twist it forward. You can see how it's opening it up. Because otherwise you leave a step. If you, if you don't unravel it and you don't open it up a bit, you're going to leave a step. Okay, so now that I've unraveled it, now I'm just going to cut off one section short and then progressively just cuts a little bit longer as I go. So I'm starting with the small ones there. And now I just finish off playing the body. Get used to getting, tying, winding up your thread close to one another because you want to have a smooth body for when you tie the silk. You don't want to see any lumps. I can cut off over there. So what I did there is I just spun my bobbin 
just to get the my thread flat again. And there you can see, there's no step except for that little section there, but that will be built up. But otherwise, if I didn't do that, you would have this distinct step in the in the body, and it's it's going to take forever just to get it nice and smooth. So the next step I'm going to do is going to be the, the tip and the tag, and that'll be the that section done.